Um, the Sapphire Yagame was last night's episode of American Horror Story Coven, titled, it was episode 10, titled The Magical Delights of Stevie Nicks. So, in this episode, we get a lot of things revealed, especially with dealing with, um, Miss, um, Maria Laveau, the voodoo queen of New Orleans. So, I didn't take any notes like I got Norm to do, so <laughs> I'm just like, pretty much doing this all from memory. And looking at other stuff to make sure I didn't forget anything. So, in this episode, we have a lot of stuff going on. So, I'm going to probably start off by characters. So, I'm going to start off with Maria Laveau first. So, Maria Laveau, we, re- we find out that she's actually 300 years old. Uh, Fiona wants to know how the heck she stayed here this long. And so, we re- so it is revealed that she sold her soul to um, Papa Legba. He is a loa of the Haitian voodoo. And I had this read on him last night. He's like a crossroads deity. Like, he's a crossroads loa. Mm. And he's seen as like, and he apparently he only comes to you in this, well, in this show, when you're like really, really desperate. And so, in exchange for uh, pretty much his service in keeping her this uh old um this young and you know keeping her with his life there she had to give him an innocent soul so her first sacrifice was her newborn daughter and it devastated her and apparently he also smokes coke coke cocaine so i'm like wait wait what <laughs> like like every time you see him it's like you have to give him coke because every time you see him he is like he has like these red eyes i think i think he has locks he has a black top hat on um, his face, the top part is kind of like, um, it's like white, kind of like, if, if, like, if you ever seen, um, Prince of the Dr. Facilier, that white bass thing he has, or something like, something like that. I'm like, he's the original Shadow Man. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. The dude is obviously creepy to me, like, I'm like, he is, he's, 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 a, he's a very creepy kind of dude, though. But I'm guessing he's supposed to be since he is a low eye. Mm. Um, so that kind of sucks that she always has to give an innocent soul, and, and, and no, nothing's more innocent than that of a child, so, so she's kidnapping babies and giving them to him every year, because he comes back every year for her services, because when he said services, I thought, oh, because she said she thought she he meant something like sexual services, like, she's like, well, I think I could do that, she wasn't expecting that I had to give you an innocent soul, or like, oh, snap, damn, and then, uh, Hank, you know, we all know he's a hench hunter, but when Fiona and Cordelia find out it's not good, Fiona smacks the crap out of Cordelia. Like, it was just like, wow! But, like, you let a snake into this house. Like, she was pissed. Like, I know I've been a bad mama, but this is unforgivable. <laughs> like, it pretty, oh, she, woo! I'm like, mm. So, Fiona and Marie decide to go after. Delph, Delph, Delphi Trust and pretty much all the witch hunters. So Marie and um Fiona this spell using like mice and in this maze to pretty much destroy them where it hurts first. Their money. So as they put these rats in this mouse trap, the police swarm in on the Delphi Trust, taking everything away within I think ten minutes, like mm. and uh And they decide that, you know, we're going to fight this together because witch hunters, you know, they're, they're meant to kill witches, whether they're black or white. They don't care that, you know, Marie Laveau is, you know, queen of the voodoo and, you know, Fiona is the witch supreme. They don't care. Y'all both witches. I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you're white. I don't care if you're Asian. I don't care if you're purple. You're both witches. You all did. And I also noticed that uh, all the witch hunters are men. And people we've seen so far, the voodoo tribe and the witches, well, they're all female. Like, I just noticed that. <laughs> like, I, like, like, if certain things you, like, notice. Because this show does have the, the tones, you know, we talking about family matters, talking about race relations, talking about magic, both voodoo and um, witchcraft, and you talk about the whole witch hunt thing. Which pretty much is, pretty much, if you look at actual history, 
it's not the show's not far from actual historical events. Majority of all witch hunters or well, all witches that were burnt at the all people who burned a safe for witchcraft were women, which is not really surprising. Majority of people that killed people at the witches were men. Voodoo is from Haiti, which is well black people. Then you have New Orleans voodoo, which came from Haiti. They took it with them when they came to New Orleans. Then they combined Native American with the European, and you have your own creative New Orleans voodoo. So Haitian voodoo and New Orleans voodoo is not the same thing. Similarities, but not the same thing. And also, Hank, obviously, he realizes that they lost all their freaking money within a couple of freaking minutes, and they lose values. Like, nobody wants to deal with this company anymore. Like, they, they, they went down stock. So, Hank is like, now we're going to declare war on the enemy. I'm like, oh, snap, it's about to go down. So, then we see more of uh, Messi in this time frame. And uh, she ends up meeting Stevie Nicks. So, what the heck, she passes out. Like, I kind of knew that was going to happen. Like, that's all she has listened to ever since we've seen Missy is Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks. She finally sees Stevie Nicks. Oh, snap. Passes out. And Missy, since um, m- many believe she is the new Supreme because of the fact that she can bring people back from the dead, which is one of the seven wonders. Madison is kind of wants to be the new Supreme, even though t- given her whole, like, her whole demeanor, she's pretty much like a mini, a, a younger Fiona. Like, like re- do we really need another Fiona of, of being Supreme? No, we don't. So... You know, Zoe tells her, like, oh, you can't be the Supreme, you gotta harm me. But she's like, since she was brought back from the dead, she does longer has it, you know. And she also says she's kind of like Jesus. Because, you know, she was, you know, she died, and then she was brought back, she was resurrected. I'm like, baby, you can never be Jesus. Let that go. <laughs> Appearing yourself to Jesus Christ. No, honey, that's blasphemous. <laughs> that's blasphemy. You cannot, you is not Jesus, honey. Please let that go. And she's pretty much um, jealous of Misty and. She's pretty much jealous of Misty. So she's pretty much tries to bait Misty when they go out for, for a walk for with a funeral procession. And she tries to intimidate the girl. And Madison resurrects the man in the coffin. And her, intimidate, her intimidation tactics don't fully work for Madison. So Madison pretty much hits Misty in the head, knocks her out with a brick, and puts her in the coffin, which... um. In which the, 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 the dude was supposed to be getting buried. Um, we then find out that Luke is dead. Uh, Nan and Zoe try to go go over to the Ramsey's house to find out more of what happened. And Nan ends up reading the girl's mind. The, the mother's mind finds out, yo, she killed her own son. And so, Nan uses her powers to make this woman pretty much drink bleach which kills her i'm like okay but i mean that woman was gonna die eventually because she sat there and killed her because she cheated on you granted yes cheating is wrong yes we all know cheating is wrong whether you're the husband who cheated or you're the wife that cheated it's wrong but that doesn't mean you sit there you put bees in your your, your cheating spouse's car and have him go to the like shot or you kill your child because your child now knows you killed his pappy like, bitch, something is mentally wrong with you. You need to, you, you talking about, I'm going to still go to heaven. No, bitch, you're not going to heaven. Murderers don't go to heaven, bitch. And the fact that you're in denial about this shit, you definitely ain't going to heaven. God ain't going to let you up there, bitch. Who just broke you? She is delusional. You, baby, you're going to burn to hell with Satan. An eternal lake of fire. And then, um... We have Fiona since she now knows about why Marie, Marie, Marie Laveau became mortal. She ends up submarine Papa Legba, offers him the finest cocaine, and um, they decide to make a deal. You know, I'm gonna give you my soul if you, uh, you know, stop me from aging and let me live forever. So he's like, okay, let's do this. We gotta seal the deal. So they have to seal the deal with a kiss. So as he goes to kiss her, he's like, the deal is off. He says because she has no soul. I'm like, God damn. That is a really bad way to find out. But Fiona looks at this on the bright side. I have no soul and I'm dying. 
The only way she could pretty much stop her powers from being sucked away is by killing Supreme. So she's like, I'm gonna kill every damn body. I'm like, oh, oh, snap. <laughs> like, she gonna kill Misty, man, and I think it's Zoe. I think that's it. No, well, Madison's dead. I'm not sure if you can't re-kill a dead person. I'm not really sure. Then with Cordelia, her situation is she feels like she can't do anything right, even though uh, Auntie is trying to cheer her up with this weird machine thing that sounds like something using like a little classic sci-fi movie. You know, like you know the noise that you always hear in a classic sci-fi film where it sounds like like one of those thingies. So she's upset. Because she didn't know that, you know, your boy was a witch hunter. But Hank, even though he was a witch hunter, but we saw from his past, he really did love this girl. And all he wanted was his, was his dad to treat him like a freaking son. Honor! And so, uh, yeah, since Fiona knows she doesn't have a soul, she's like, screw it. I'm killing everybody. I guess it's, I mean it can't hurt us like she has no soul already. She pretty much probably destroyed her soul years ago. <laughs> like that's probably been going years ago. So Fiona and Marie decide to kill two birds one stone one stone when um Nan discovers the baby in Maria's room. Because now we're going to try to rescue the baby. Because it's all been on the news. The baby has been missing from the hospital. And the way Maria Laveau went and took the baby was like crazy. Like she just, you know, goes in the hospital. And the woman's like, man, we can't be here. You can't be here. She's like, she like sprays on the phone. Like, open the door. And the woman's like, you know, she got, she has to do it. So takes the baby. It was a pretty, pretty baby. The baby's so cute. And it's crying. Like, ah. And she's like, shut up. I'm like, oh, dang. I guess after you didn't lost your child. You've been doing this after years. He and the baby cry, it kind of doesn't affect you the more. Cause she was just like, shut up. I'm like, dang, it's kind of hard. I'm like, I feel bad for the baby. So the police officers get there because, you know, the, the, you know, the things get set off, you know, because, you know, people have been known to kidnap babies in hospitals and stuff, you know, and then sell them, you know, baby trafficking. So she go like, she like, she like, get out of my way. I don't got time for this. And she like, she, and she closes her eyes and opens them up. Her eyes go like all freaking white. And she goes, ah! and like, the, the dude shoots the other, they shoot each other. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? That's a crazy shit. Now, I bet you they're probably going to be some stupid idiot that's going to actually go try to try to, like, don't piss me off. I'm like, bitch, it's not going to work. <laughs> you know, there's some people that can't, un- that cannot decipher, you know, reality from TV. It's like, okay. So she kills the dude with the thingy. <laughs> So they end up killing Nan, drown her in the tub, and convince Papa Legba to take Nan, who who says she, she um he say she like you know she's kind of like curious like you know you know what they expect for your dad because nobody knows what they expect. I mean we have all have every religion have ideas of what to expect in the afterlife depending on what you have done in your life. If you do good things, then you go to heaven. If you're Christian, I think. Uh, Buddhist, I think it's Nirvana. Uh, I think Hindu, you don't get reincarnated, no, reincarnated no more. Um, atheist, you just your 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 body just becomes food for the grass and you become a tree and stuff like that. So every religion has its own idea, you know, ideas. So he says to her that you know it's gonna be really nice and stuff and have everything you could possibly want. And she's like, cool, because I, I probably was probably better over here than it was with, in this house anyway. Because pretty much all the witches are trying to kill each other. It makes no sense. Instead of, you know, I mean, they finally come together, you know. But we got Fiona who don't want to die because she has cancer. And she's pretty much trying to kill all, all these other girls off so she can stay the supreme. And Maria Laveau, she has to kill a child every freaking year because she done sold a soul to Papa Labar, so. You know. And then the show kind of ends with Stevie Nicks singing a, a beautiful song. So, um. <laughs> so, this episode was pretty interesting. We got to see a really creepy, uh, uh, we get to see, we got to see a Haitian voodoo deity, Loa, which was pretty cool. We got to find out how Marie got to be if 
immortal. We don't know the fate of Queenie yet. We don't know if she's actually alive or she's dead. Uh, Misty, she got put in the coffin. Um, obviously, she if she does die, she could just bring herself back to life. It's not gonna kill her. Madison is on a, a little trip thing, and she is freaking Jesus Christ. I'm like, boo boo, no. Um, Nan is officially dead, and Zoe is well, Zoe. <laughs> so that's all, and I will see you guys next Monday for the uh, episode 11 of um, American Horror Story, and we're gonna have two more episodes with episode 13. Is where I'm gonna, uh, uh, which is titled The Seven Wonders when we hopefully get to see what the heck is these seven wonders that determines a person is the supreme. So comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!